Does a high BMI complicate an IVF outcome and lead to high progesterone levels? Let's look at this study, which looked at body mass index and hormone levels during an IVF treatment cycle in an antagonist protocol. And it's, it is known in some studies that if your progesterone levels are high on the day when the eggs are triggered, the chance of pregnancy may be low. Why does the study matter? It matters because high progesterone on the day of trigger can make it harder for embryos to implant in the uterus and may lower the quality of embryos. So understanding this is incredibly important. The study included 412 women who underwent IVF or ICSI in a hospital in China between 2017 and 22, and the, the women were grouped into BMI normal weight, overweight, and obese. The main findings were that the women with higher BMI, overweight or obese, had a much lower risk of high progesterone on trigger, trigger day compared to women with normal BMI. In fact, the risk dropped to more than half for overweight women, but about 80 by about 80% of obese women. This was true even after accounting for other factors. Interestingly, Overweight and obese women needed a higher dose of medications, a longer dose of stimulation to get their eggs ready, and they still had a lower progesterone. This goes against the common belief that being overweight and obese always makes IVF outcomes worse. So what does it mean in real life? For women with normal BMI, there is a higher risk of high progesterone on trigger day, which could lower the chance of pregnancy. Doctors want to consider a different protocol in these cases. On the other hand, women who are overweight and obese may need more medication, but are less likely to have this specific hormone issue. The limitations, it's a single study. It did not include underweight women. And for anything like this, you require larger studies to confirm. Thank you.